Good morning and thank you for returning to our recess hearing. My name is Karen Koslowitz and I am honored to chair the City Council Committee on Rules, Privileges and Elections. Before we begin, I would like to introduce the Rules Committee Council members and other council members who have returned for the Rules Committee vote. First, we are pleased to be joined by our speaker, Corey Johnson, as a member of the Rules Committee, as well as Minority Leader Stephen Matteo from Staten Island, Council Member Adrian Adams from Queens, Council Member Margaret Chin from Manhattan, Um, Council Member Raphael Espinal from Brooklyn, Council Member Richie Torres of the Bronx, and Council Member Mark Traeger from Brooklyn. There are Council Members that will be joining us. The Rules Committee is meeting today to resume a recess hearing, the first part of which we held on Monday, November 26, 2018. This hearing addresses the appointment of Ms. Margaret Gannett as Commissioner of the New York City Department of Investigation. Mayor Bill de Blasio nominated Margaret Gannett to serve as Commissioner, as required by the New York City Charter, Chapter 2, Section 31. The Mayor submitted Ms. Gannett's name to the Council for its advice and consent. The Rules Committee will soon vote on whether to grant Ms. Gannett, such advice and consent. If the candidate receives the Rules Committee's advice and consent, the full council will vote on the nomination later this afternoon at the council stated meeting. If approved, Ms. Gannett will be appointed DOI commissioner to get us started. I would like to call on Speaker Johnson for a statement. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you, Chair Koslowitz, for chairing the hearing earlier this week and for chairing this hearing this morning. Uh, the City Charter gives the New York City Council the power of advice and consent to just a limited number of officers in city government. And it is a power that we do not take lightly. Indeed, our advice and consent to the appointment of the Department of Investigations Commissioner may very well be the most important of all. Through its investigatory powers, DOI guards against corruption, waste, and fraud. DOI ensures that city agencies, city contractors, and public officials are working to further the interests of the city, not to benefit themselves. Accordingly, the commissioner of DOI has broad authority to investigate allegations of wrongdoing, to, aud to audit the operations of city agencies, and to make appointments for various positions responsible for overseeing the operations of the city. Similarly, DOI has the responsibility of reporting its findings to the council, which can inform some of the actions the council could take to reform city government. Fulfillment of DOI's mission is important in ensuring faith in government, and this responsibility rests on the shoulders of the DOI commissioner. On Monday, this committee had the opportunity to hear from Margaret Garnett, the mayor's nominee for commissioner of the Department of Investigation. She came before us and presented a compelling argument as why her vast professional experience and temperament make her an outstanding candidate to lead the Department of Investigation. Prior to the hearing, she answered questions presented by the council, and during the hearing, she ably answered questions posed by myself and a number of the colleagues on this committee and folks who are not on this committee. Ms. Garnett has communicated to the council that her vision for DOI is to first uphold the dignity of public service by rooting out wrongdoers who abuse the public's trust or appropriate public money. Two, to use DOI's vantage point as a city's oversight agency to try to improve public services by identifying systemic failures, exposing waste and mismanagement, and giving the council, the administration, and the public the information they need to push for necessary reforms. But most importantly, she is committed to maintaining the independence of DOI and ensuring that it is free from political interference. 
For this city to succeed, our employees and residents must believe in their integrity of the Department of Investigation and that the Commissioner is beyond reproach. Given her impressive history of dedicated public service and from what I heard and saw in my interactions with her, both privately and at the hearing, I have no doubt that Ms. Garnett can and will achieve this vision. Because of this, I am happy to vote in favor of Ms. Garnett's appointment as Commissioner of the Department of Investigation. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I agree with Speaker Johnson. Ms. Garnett has the resume and qualifications to serve as the OI Commissioner. Ms. Garnett's responses to our questioning responded satisfactorily to the Council's primary concerns whether she would commit to running an independent agency free of influence by city government and whether she would continue all investigations currently and, un and un currently underway at DOI. Ms. Garnett's responses assured me that she would run DOI free of any outside constraints and influence and pursue investigations currently underway. I will now open the floor to Rules Committee members to be followed by other council members in attendance for any brief comments concerning our nominee. Does anybody have? Okay. Council Member Torres. Um, you know, I, I, I share the sentiments of, of both uh, Council Member Kozlowitz and Speaker Johnson that I think DOI is the immune system of good government here in New York City, and we haven't missed Garnett really the consummate law enforcement professional. Uh, no one can question her qualifications, no one can question her independence, but I, I do believe that the speaker deserves enormous credit because the advise and consent role that we play sends a clear message to the opposite end of City Hall that the council would not tolerate anyone other than a truly independent DOI commissioner. That that was, that created an incentive to choose the best possible nominee, so I just give you enormous credit Mr. Speaker, for um, exercising the checks and balance role that the City Council plays. See, seeing no other further comments, I would now like to call on the clerk to take the vote. Uh, William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. Chair Koslowitz. I wholeheartedly vote aye. Matteo. Aye. Chin. Ms. Garnett is highly qualified for this position and I proudly vote aye. Thank you. Espinal. I vote aye. Torres. I proudly vote aye. Traeger. Aye. Adams. Proudly voting aye. Speaker Johnson. I want to thank uh, Chair Koslowitz and Chair Torres uh, for their work on this nomination. I also want to thank uh, Chuck Davis and also our committee council uh, and uh, Jason Goldman and Rob Newman for their work on this. Uh, this was an important process. I'm glad we've gotten to this point and I proudly vote aye in favor of Ms. Garnett's nomination to be the next commissioner of the Department of Investigation. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. We will hold this vote open for 15 more minutes. Advice and consent of the rules to this nomination has been granted. The full council final vote will take place later today. Thank you to our esteemed speaker, rules committee members, and all council members. <laughs>